In this lesson, we'll look at how to set up your video sources for the best results when used with the Envy. In particular, we'll cover the Apple TV and the Kaleidoscape, and you can then apply these same concepts to your other sources you may have. We have several set of guides on our website at MavierEnvy.com. So rather than reinvent the wheel, we'll walk you through these guides in particular so you can become familiar with the procedure. We'll start with the Apple TV guide. Okay, so here we are with the Apple TV setup guide from the MV website. This is going to be pretty quick and easy. You're going to go to the Apple TV home screen and look for the main configuration gear. Once you get into that menu, you're going to choose video and audio, then format, then select other formats. Look for the option that says 4K 24 with 23 9.76 in parentheses. Make sure you pick this one and not the one that actually just says 24 by itself. Okay, then you're gonna go back to the previous menu and you see this setting here, match content. You're gonna choose that and you're gonna set match dynamic range to on, match frame rate to on, back out of the menu and your settings will automatically be saved and now your Apple TV is ready for the Envy. Okay, let's quickly walk through the Kaleidoscape setup guide for the Envy. So the settings we need to get to are not actually available in the Kaleidoscape on-screen menus through the player. You have to go to the web browser interface on the Kaleidoscape to make these changes. So to do that, you're going to go to the system status menu on the Kaleidoscape, look under the system summary, and then you'll see a browser interface URL. Type that into your browser. When those menus come up, you're gonna select the video tab, and then you're going to select under video output behavior, you're gonna select allow display mode changes and use external scaler, this setting here, and also choose use highest available for the preferred resolution. So that's up to 2160p. Under the select OSD aspect ratio, if you have a scope screen, so 235 or higher, choose the CinemaScope 235 letterbox option. Otherwise, leave that at the default of 16 by 9. For the OSD refresh rate, we recommend setting it at preferred 24 hertz on-screen menus. Now, a lot of people are used to running their Kaleidoscape at 60p instead of 24. The reason for this is that the animations through the user interface are much prettier and smoother, so we totally understand that. However, this adds unnecessary HDMI handshaking time because now the Kaleidoscape has to go between 60p and 24p for the movie and then back to 60p after the movie. So instead, with the Envy, you can actually set the Kaleidoscape to prefer 24 hertz, and then the Envy will use Motion AI if you turn on that option to be able to make the menus look just like they would be at 60p. So you get the same benefit as far as it being nice and smooth animation with the reduced and faster HDMI handshaking time. And you can do this with our Motion AI even if you don't want to use Motion AI for the movie. So there's actually a setting in Motion AI to have it apply just to the Kaleidoscape. So we'll get into that more when we go through the Kaleidoscape and the Motion AI used together in the Motion AI lessons coming up. The last step is you go to the HDMI content metadata and change this to say transmit content type metadata. This is important for the Envy to know where it is when it's in the Kaleidoscape menus and user interface. So that's it for setting up your source devices. Like we mentioned in the beginning, please go to mavyourenvy.com and look at other setup guides and you'll get the idea of how to do this for all of your sources. Let's get on to the next lesson.